and I would like to announce something. <laughs> Questions? One, two, one, two. Yeah. Questions? <laughs> on the left? Or Front row on the left? Yes. Over here? Mm -hmm. uh, Julia Pierpont, Xinhua News of China. Congratulations. It's unbelievable. Uh, this is actually really exciting in China as well. You've obviously been sweeping the globe, but now it's really hitting China. I'm really curious what you think is, what creates that extraordinary general appeal? Uh, the short answer is that I don't know, and I wish I did, because if I did, that would mean we could, we could do it again. But the longer, slightly longer answer is that Westeros doesn't belong to anybody. Nobody has a history of family in Westeros. Nobody is personally connected to it. And that means that everybody can be equally connected to it. And I think that that's, it touches on George's genius was such that he, he took all of world history and condensed it into his world. And I think everybody, it's a mirror in which everybody can see themselves and their people and their history. <laughs> Questions? Anybody else? Anybody else? <laughs> right Straight ahead on right, the right over here. Straight ahead to the right of the poll. Hi everyone, David from Israel. Mazel Tov to all of you. Um, it seems like you know we've been being on a festival of you know this this the the season before last the last season it split into you know two hat in like seven episodes and six episodes it's like an ongoing you know delaying the ending do you feel that as well on your end no uh, you know to be honest the the final seasons taking long or taking a long time because it's the biggest thing we've ever done. And even though it's six episodes, uh, it took us, how many more shooting days to normal Bernie, would you say? Uh, I mean, yeah. it was, it, yeah. So it was nearly a full year uh, in Belfast, either uh, prepping it or actually shooting it. And it's, I think it's quite extraordinary what um, the crew and these actors have created. Um, and I think when people see it, they're gonna understand. They're gonna understand why it took so long. So it's really not. It's no one's gone on vacation. No one's um, slacking off. Uh, it's just that last season um, is far beyond what we've ever attempted before, and it's taken a really fucking long time. But uh, <laughs> I, I hope it'll be worth it. So. Anybody else? Right here. On the right hand side. Hi there, Angela Bishop from Network Ten Australia. George, I was wondering if I could ask you a question, please. Um, do you feel uh, that this creation of yours has changed television and do you have plans to change it some more? <laughs> um, well, I think television has always been changing, but uh, it, it's what's exciting to me, I've, I've spent my life in the worlds of science fiction and fantasy. And until Game of Thrones, although science fiction and fantasy shows had occasionally been nominated for the Emmy, they had never actually won it. And the, uh, the amount of recognition we've gotten, I think, I don't know if it's changed television, but it's changed science fiction and fantasy television. And we've uh, achieved a level of respectability thanks to the, the genius of uh, these actors and producers and writers that uh, has made us equal to any genre. As for what's going to happen from now, well, you know, they, they've, they're wrapping up this show, but we do have five prequels in uh, various stages of development, so we're not done with Westeros yet, and there are many more stories to tell. Oh, yeah. One more question on the le back left. Thank you very much. Uh, this question is for both Amelia and for Kit. If you could both step to the mic, please. Since you avoided us on the carpet. 
And I'm sorry, I'm not from Australia, Israel, or China. I'm just from Los Angeles, so bear with me here. Um, quick question. How has life changed for both of you because of this project? I mean, what really has happened in your lives because of this? Well, I mean... I, and step to the mic, please. Yeah, okay, sorry. Um, I met my wife in this show, so... It, in that way, it gave me my hopefully my future family and and my life from here on in. Uh, that's the main thing it, it did for me, and then it's given you know it's changed it completely. The last ten years, of, you could not ask for a, a better job to have in your twenties to take you through your twenties than to be an actor in Game of Thrones. It, it 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 it's been the most amazing thing. So it's changed it completely, obviously. Thank you, Kit. Amelia. Um, yeah, really similar apart from the wife bit, basically. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, it's, it's given me my entire career. And uh, it, it, it's given me my entire life as I know it now. So it's kind of, I, I genuinely owe it absolutely everything. And it's changed everything. So I'm incredibly lucky. Congratulations. Thank you. Thanks. Congratulations. Thank you very much.